All right, guys, so here is the little refresher, and then I'll do the problem set with you for Module 6, Lesson 11. Again, working with rows and columns, putting repeated addition sentences together um, to describe our array, okay? which is just, guys, some of you were confused with, what's an array? Array is a rectangle of how many rows and how many columns, okay? All right, so we get started. The first thing that they want you to do on lesson 11 is to recognize that you can, if they give you a certain number of tiles, or a certain number of objects, you can put it into different arrays. And that's kind of what we're doing. How many different arrays can you make with a certain number of tiles? Okay, and I think with this one in our classroom, we did it as I had you guys get into groups, I passed out those squares, and I had you guys build and show me how many different arrays you can make. Okay, so hopefully this is a little bit of a, of a refresher. Remember that if you are totally lost, can't figure this out after watching the videos, after kind of reading through the directions and everything like that, send up that smoke signal, call me, text me, Batman, whatever you need to do, okay? All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is it says that it wants you to do one row of 10, okay? So if we do that, one row, 10 in the row, okay? That could also, if they asked you, well, how many columns? It would turn into 10 columns of one. Does that make sense? We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, it could also be 10 columns of one. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is take that same 10 tiles and turn it into two rows, okay? So if we turn it into two rows, what we need to do is, let me get my little marker up here. Wish this wasn't shiny, okay. If we say two rows, well, there's a row, and there's a row, okay? Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna just take it down and connect it. Okay, so I would have two rows of five. If we go two rows of five, my repeated addition would be five plus five equals 10. So now what I want, I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, and it says you have 16 tiles. How many different arrays can you make? Okay, so if I break, and I did this for some of you, okay? So I'm gonna break 16 down real quick. Remember how I kinda did that? Okay, so we can have one of 16, we can have 16, one, we have two and eight, or eight and two, we can have four and four. Okay, and what I mean by that, let me grab another board so that I don't get the glare and I will show you guys one second. All right guys, sorry. So hopefully this one looks a little bit better. So remember that you have 16 tiles, okay? So how many different arrays, if I give you 16 tiles, could you make, okay? So on the last one, I broke it down, but I wasn't sure that you guys could see it. Okay, so remember, we broke it down in that tree, kind of how we did it in class. We're gonna have 
1 and 16. We could do 16 and 1. We can do 2 and 8, 8 and 2. Or we can do 4 and 4. Okay? So however you do it will work. Okay, so I'll I'll do how about if I do two rows of eight and then I'll do the square. Okay, so if I go two rows of eight, okay, see that there's my two rows. Okay, so one, two, yeah, sorry. So there's one row of eight. So two rows of eight. We're saying two rows of eight, two groups of eight. So my repeated addition, let's say eight plus eight. Okay? Or you can just make it super simple on yourself because 16 is what we call a square. So it's a square number. So just make a square, meaning make them the same. Do a four by four, four rows, four columns. Call it good. Okay, so if I do that, okay, there's my square here. You'd say four rows or four columns of four, either way. You'd have four plus four plus four plus four equals 16. Okay. I let me erase real quick and I will get with the problem set for you. Which your problem set, if you guys construct it, fine. If not, that's fine too because I know on the online format, even though it's I did the videos and it should be super easy for you guys to get into to draw or to type. I know that doing it on the computer is a little bit weird. So all you have to do is write that repeated addition statement. Okay? So, number one says, place eight square tiles in a row. Construct an array with eight square tiles. Okay, so if we use eight of those tiles, as you have eight of them, right? If you have eight, I'm gonna break that down really quick into that, into that pack family for you, okay? So, you could show me that that's one and eight, eight and one, two and four, or four and two, okay? And I don't care if you call them rows or columns first, okay? So like one row of eight, eight rows of one, two rows of four, four rows of two, okay? Pick one, roll with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not necessarily gonna show the arrays for you, but I'll help you out as far as your repeated addition goes, okay? So, if we do one row of eight, one group of eight, you'd write eight on the line. You wouldn't really have anything else, or you could go eight plus zero equals eight, because you're not doing anything else, okay? But if I go eight rows of one, one plus one, that's what your repeated addition would look like, okay? I will do two rows of four, okay? So there's a row, there's my two rows, I'm going to put four in each row, okay? Two rows of four, well, two groups of four. I would say four plus four equals eight, okay? But then if I switch it, if I come down here and I say four columns of two, if I want four groups of two, okay, I would say two, plus two, plus two, plus two equals eight. So there are a couple examples of how you could do number one, okay? 
We roll down to number two. Ooh, you have to do two different ways, okay? So you get 12 tiles this time. Yay, aren't you special? So 12 tiles. We could go one and 12, 12 and one, two and six, six and two, four and three, or three and four, okay? So, and I'll, so I am gonna do, and I don't care what you guys do, I'm gonna do three rows of four, okay? So that's, or yeah, I'll start with three rows of four to start and show you what that would look like. And again, you guys don't have to draw them out. Okay, so if I have three rows of four, three groups of four, four plus four plus four equals 12, okay? But if I wanna switch that, I now go with my columns and say four columns of three, now I have four groups of three, okay? So it would switch to say three plus three plus three plus three equals 12, okay? And hopefully that helps for you. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video there, So, but there's two different ways to do 12, okay? If you have questions, let me know. All you have to do, and I think in the instructions I said send, send all of them back to me. Really on these guys, as long as you're watching the videos to get a refresher, all I need back from you is that exit ticket. And even on there, if you're having trouble drawing it in, skip it. Okay, skip that part, do the repeated edition. If you, Again, if you have questions, watch the videos of how to fill in a PDF again or contact me and I will walk you through this. I don't want you to struggle through it, okay? Uh, let's see. Oh, last thing, because we did have a lot of questions on this. I am actually gonna go ahead and do the back so that you guys have, have it. Okay, so it says construct on the second page of the problem set, I'm jumping down to number four. It says construct two arrays with six squares. Okay. So you get six total squares. Okay. Or six tiles, however you want to look at it. It's telling you that you, if you put it into two rows, okay, there's my two rows. You have a total of six tiles. If I put it into two rows, how many would you have? Well, if I split six between two rows, I'm gonna have two rows of three equals six. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, two rows of three equals six. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna put it over here. This is number, number four, okay? This is A. Okay, if we move to B, it then says three rows of however many equals two rows of well, you still only get six tiles. You're still working with those six tiles, okay? We already figured out the two rows of three, okay? That's what we broke it down into. Guys, all you have to do is switch your numbers around. We already figured out that two rows of three equals six. We pull off our numbers, it would have to be three rows of two, okay? Hopefully that helps in how we switch things around, okay? I'm not gonna worry about number five. Again, all you guys really truly need to do is watch the videos. Um, if you have, and then 
I know that on the instructions it says send back all three. If you only send back the exit ticket, that's awesome because you guys know that that's really, even in class, that's really the only part that I grade. Um, if you have questions, again, let me know as soon as possible. Call me, text me, email me, send up a smoke signal, put it in the comment section on Schoology. Let me know right away because if you guys do have questions on Thursdays when we go live in the classroom, you guys can jump on and I'll show you how to do it again. You guys can go, whoa, 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 I don't understand that part. And I'll go back and show you, okay? Kind of like I would in the classroom where I would come down, come around and help you, okay? Get your stuff done. Love you guys.